Good morning, boys and girls. Today's lesson for today is um, lesson eight, and it is where we are going to be identifying and measure angles as turns and recognize them in various contexts. So pretty much um, before we start talking about more what that means, um, I want us to do a quick fluency activity where we're thinking about these numbers here. So these numbers in a box. So we have a 9, 18, 27, and 36. So right away, what, what pattern is that? And you should be thinking, oh, those numbers are counting by nines. So count by nines with me. 9, 18, 27, 36. Now let's count that number of tens. 9 tens, 18 tens, 27 tens, 36 tens, which equals 90, 180, 270, 360. And then let's change those numbers to degrees. So 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees. And these numbers are important because when we're talking about angles as turns, those are those are the degrees that we're gonna be using. So important words that I'm gonna be saying a lot during this lesson is half turn and quarter turn. Okay, so here's our protractor that we have that is the circular protractor. And here's the zero degrees here. And then if I move up the protractor, and I actually move up um, 90 degrees, that is what I call a quarter turn because I've gone a fourth of the protractor. And then if I keep going around the circle and go another quarter turn, which I can see that right angle right there again, that's 180. So I know that 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. And then if I tur keep turning another quarter turn, so another 90 degrees, I'm going to um, have an angle of 270 degrees. So that's 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270. And then another 90 degrees, I would have a full circle, which equals 360 degrees, okay? So again, um, a quarter turn is 90 degrees, and then a half turn would be just half of the circle. So a half turn would be um, zero, and then a half turn of the protractor would be 180 because I'm going halfway, half of the circle, not the full 360, okay? And so now I wanna talk a little bit more about these words and these degrees using the clock. So I have a clock here and I've divided the clock in. First I, I drew a line so that the clock was um, divided in half and then I drew another line across to show the quarters. Okay, so I have, um, I have one half of the clock. So first I had two halves and then when I drew the other line going across, I made fourths, so, or quarters, right? So here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, okay? So now I'm going to think about what degree these, um, these hour and minute hands are moving. Actually, just, just the um, hour hand. So I'm gonna put the minute hand here Sorry, it's always hard with one hand. And I'm gonna think of my protractor that I just had. And I'm gonna think of the hour hand pointing at the 12 as being zero degrees. And then if I am moving a quarter turn, my hour hand is now going to be pointing at the three. So three o'clock and that's also going to be a 90 degree turn. Okay, and I can see, I can put a square right there to know that this is a right angle. So from 12 o'clock to three o'clock, that's 90 degrees because I just turned 
my angle, I can see that angle there, that right angle, that angle is telling me, oh, that was a 90 degree turn, okay? Now, if I take my hour hand and I'm moving it down the clock, time is passing, and I'm moving it to the six, well, I went from the three to the six, so that's another quarter turn, and that's another 90 degrees. Okay, so I've moved 90 plus 90, and now the hour hand is moving again, so I'm gonna move it to the nine, and if I move it to the nine, I've done another quarter, there's another right angle, so that's another 90 degrees. Okay, so I've, I've moved it 90 degrees plus another 90 degrees, which is, it was 180 degrees when it was at the six, I forgot to say that. And then another 90 degrees, well that's 90 plus 90 plus 90, or 90 times three, which is 270 degrees so far that we've moved around the clock or around the circle. And then another 90 degrees, or another quarter turn, would be 360. And so one full turn is 360 degrees. And then if a half a turn, so if I went from thinking about the hour hand being pointed to the 12, and then the hour hand going, just pointing to the six, I could also say, oh, well, that's a half a turn. That's 180 degrees. So that's 90 plus 90 is 180. Okay, so remember that a quarter turn is 90 degree, is a 90 degree turn. A half a turn is 180 degrees. So there's two half turns in the circle. 180 plus 180 is 360. And there's four quarter turns in the circle. So 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360. Okay, so I have my little friend here, Marie, and she's going to demonstrate um, <clears throat> the words that we've been talking about, quarter turn and half turn. So if I wanted her to do a full turn, so I said, okay, Marie, do a 360 <clears throat> degree turn. Well, that just means that she's going to go in one full circle and turn herself around. There she is. She did a 360 turn, so she just turned her body around. Now she's facing me again. Okay, if I want her to do um, a quarter turn, okay, so that means that's a 90 degree turn. So from facing me, she's going to go 90 degrees. So now I'm seeing the side of her and she's facing the wall. The wall's over there. Okay, and if I said, okay, we'll do another 90 degrees, she's going to keep going. But now she's facing the back wall. She's facing the opposite direction of me. Okay, another 90 degrees. Okay, now she's facing the other wall. And then another 90 degrees. Now she's facing me again. Okay, so um, she did four quarter turns. So she moved four times. So 90, quarter turn, 90, which is, um, another quarter turn, so she did two quarter turns, or we could say she did a half turn, and then another quarter turn, so that's three quarter turns she did, and then she did four quarter turns to be facing me again. Okay, so if I wanted to her to do a half a turn, so do a half a turn, well that means she's going to do, <clears throat> it's like moving um, around the protractor or around the clock halfway. So then that would just mean 180. That means she's just facing the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm going to have, okay, we'll do another half turn. Oh, that means she's facing me again. All right, so then there she is. And then um, if I said we'll do a, um, a quarter turn, it wouldn't matter if she went to the right or if she went to the left either direction is still a quarter turn it doesn't it doesn't really matter which way you if you wanted somebody if you were giving directions and you wanted them to turn a certain way you would have to give them that direction but 
She can turn um, a quarter turn either direction and a quarter turn would still, it would still work. It doesn't matter. She doesn't always have to go the same direction. Okay, if that makes sense. And um, thinking about, you know, turns that we do in our life, you know, skateboarders, when they are spinning around on their skateboard, like pretend she has a skateboard, okay? And if she does a hundred, um, does 180, that just means she's turning her body around on the skateboard. Um, sometimes a car might be driving and they lose control and they might do a 360 turn. So they, their car might spin all the way around. So if you ever hear that, oh yeah, they, they did a 360, that means, oh, that was bad. That means their car spun all the way around. And um, I know when I am cooking and if I'm warming up the pan, I'm turning the knob a quarter turn. So if this is my, if pretend the clock is my, um, my knob on my stove, okay, so when the arrow is pointing up, that means the stove is off. But if I'm warming up the stove or warming up the pan, I might do a quarter turn to heat up the pan. That might be a low, a low setting. But then when I turn the knob um, a half turn or another 180 degrees, then that might be where the food is cooking on medium heat, okay? So, and then even when maybe you're going, you know, you're going to the, I'm trying to think what's 180. So the playground from our classroom is, I would say 180 degrees, right? In a direction. So you could even give directions with, with these um, angles as well. So our lesson today is going to be looking at these angles and really having these practicing these words half turn quarter turn um, 90 180 360 okay and for the first part of the lesson it says Joe Steve and Bob stood in the middle of the yard and faced the house Joe turned 90 degrees to the right. Steve turned 180 degrees to the right and Bob turned 270 degrees to the right. Name the object that each boy is now facing. Okay, so if we're starting with Joe, okay, so he was first facing the, he was first, he was in the middle of the yard, okay, but then, and he was facing the house, Okay, so he's facing the house and then he turned 90 degrees to the right. So for my right, he would be facing the, so if he turned, he would be facing the fence because a 90 degree, here's that 90 degree angle, a quarter turn is 90 degrees. So he would be facing the fence. So I would put Joe is facing the fence. Okay, and then you have to figure out how, um, which what Steve and what also Bob is facing but you have to follow these directions here okay and there's a clock and you're going to be thinking about um, what's the question how many degrees did the minute hand turn from the beginning of class to the end so it looks like he's starting at 11 o'clock and then it ends at 11 45 so how many degrees did the did the um, did the minute hand go around the clock? So what, what degree turn is that? Okay, there's also another video I'm gonna attach. Um, and the man in the video goes over some of these problems um, that are exactly on this page. So I want you to please um, watch that. And then that'll also help you get a good idea of this lesson today. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please come to office hours or um, leave a comment if there's anything that I can answer for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.